When a patient has severe pulmonary hypertension to the point of starting to develop right ventricular failure, the um, standard of care is that they either have to have a lung transplant or that's the sign that they're going to die. Um, sometimes you can do a lung transplant and the right heart will recover enough if you do a double lung transplant to have them survive through it. In Jeff's case, um, he was evaluated at one center and they felt that his right heart failure was too advanced and that the damage to his body was too significant that he couldn't survive undergoing a um, just a double lung transplant and so they turned him down. So Jeff had been given no hope and we really felt that this was the sign of the end for him and we weren't sure that he was gonna survive. Everything was a real fight. And you start, you know, I have a, I'm a strong, uh, I have a lot of will. I'm sorry, it's coming back. Uh, and uh, when you fight every day and people say, well, he's gotta keep fighting. Well, after seven years of beating your head on the wall, you get tired. And uh, I hate to say it, but I was getting tired. After our lung transplant program started, Dr. Kagani and Dr. Gurgis became involved, and they evaluated them, and they started to think that maybe we could come up with a solution. And I, I was convinced that he was going to do well because the attitude, the positive attitude, was quite amazing. He gave us confidence that uh, he is the right patient to do. Uh, when you're working in Alaska, you're in a man camp, you either work or go to the gym or go to sleep or eat, you know, and I chose to eat and work out and work. And so I think that was a lot of it that I was in really good shape my whole life. And that I've always been, I got a lot of determination. You know, it's, I will eat one of those kids. You can't do that. Oh, oh okay, yeah, watch this. So a decision was made, uh, especially with uh, Dr. Kagani's presence on our team, who has a tremendous um, experience in doing uh, combined heart-lung transplant procedures. He's done as, as many as probably anyone in the world, really. Uh, we felt quite comfortable uh, listing him for a heart-lung transplant, as well as the bilateral transplant, because the combined heart-lung block is often quite difficult to, to get, uh, because uh, patients who need a heart transplant alone, uh, they're generally given priority. We thought that he possibly is going to wait on the waiting list for a long time and we were worried about his condition, if he's going to uh, last that long to, to receive these um, rare organs. But uh, fortunately, very fortunately, to my surprise, was really close to miracle that we had a, uh, we had a very good donor. Then I got the call and it just seems like, then it was, uh, everything was so fast. You know, the range of emotions was just amazing to get the call, you're at home cooking your dinner and then pack a bag. You know, Eric calls and, hey, get ready, the transplant coordinator. I don't even know Eric, but he's a wonderful man. And uh, it just, and it was like that night, you know, the next morning you're looking around going, wow, you know, and then pretty soon you take a breath and you go, that was cool. And uh, we, we were very pleased with the, with the whole procedure and the uh, function of the organs immediately after the procedure was very satisfactory and uh, he made a very fast and satisfactory progress afterwards. And he is, as you know, he's doing extremely well now. And you can't even believe that he's the same patient who had a few days to live. Now he can do anything he wants to. You know, given how sick he was and given, you know, the almost certain uh, fatal outcome that he would have had uh, without the transplant uh, in, in, a, in a short time period, just the, the dramatic um, impact this transplant has had on his life. Um, so it clearly saved his life, but not only that, it really transformed his life. I mean, it took him from someone who was uh, essentially, you know, bed and chair uh, ridden to someone who is you know, I think more active than, 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 than the average person. He's um, doing everything that, that, that he wants to do. Um, and so uh, I, I can't be more happy for him and, and, and how things have turned out for him. And, and I'm looking forward to getting through this first year, although it's been wonderful. The, especially the last three months have just been fantastic, you know, because I'm able to do more all the time. Um, but I, if I keep gaining like I'm gaining, I'm not sure where it's going to go. But I never uh, laid on the couch and quit. 
you know, it's not an option. It's hard to relate to until you've had everything taken from you and you get this supercharged back. It was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm pretty tickled. <laughs>